We begin with a big break in the murder of two grandparents killed inside their own home near Lodi. Tonight, a suspect's behind bars, and detectives say he was no stranger to the victims. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live with the investigation and what neighbors are saying tonight. Valina. Yeah, well, neighbors say they are relieved after nearly a week of wondering if anyone else on their street would be targeted. Tonight, we're learning from investigators that this wasn't a random attack at all. I mean, I'm still in, in shock, but I'm glad that it was that quick. A quick arrest and a double murder case giving a small piece of comfort tonight to neighbors who have been on edge. And the whole neighborhood has just been in awe. Everybody's got their... They're loaded guns. I mean, we're glad that they think they've caught the right person. San Joaquin County Sheriff deputies say 53-year-old Christopher Lee Holland killed James and Mary Riswig. The couple in their 70s were found dead inside their home by their granddaughter, according to neighbors. I feel sorry for, for you know, Jim's family. Just... You know, it's hard to live with, and the granddaughter that walked in and saw it. Investigators say a gun was used in the murders. After several tips, deputies arrested Holland, a convicted felon, around noon the same day the bodies were found. Investigators believe the suspect knew the victims, but how? Court records reveal the victim's son sued Holland for harassment in 2018. Nothing uh, from our preliminary investigation shows that there was any kind of forced in uh, entry. Um, because there was some kind of connection. Sometimes I wake, stay up at night just thinking about about them, you know, to find them in that state that they were in. I feel so bad for them because they're going to remember that for the rest of their life. Deputies are still searching for a motive, but neighbors are thankful the person allegedly responsible is now behind bars. They got to eat, you know, he's not around there to hurt anybody else. They didn't deserve that. They're real good people. Now, neighbors have formed a watch group since those murders happened. Holland was officially charged in court today on murder, weapon, and robbery charges. Investigators are still looking into several leads, but believe he acted alone.